Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about the end of my a vlog series and I'm going to show you what I got on my trip. So, um, pardon my voice because I have a cold so that's why I sound a little um, masculine. <laughs> um, so I'll make it quick, my update quick because if you're here just for the haul you can, you can skip ahead. But um, we were in Georgia for two weeks, it was a 14 hour road trip with my family. I have two daughters, one two and a half and one ten months. And um, yeah, I did the vlog series. I'll do um, a little link here if you would like to be involved, like like to see it. Um, but otherwise, I kind of ended it abruptly because it was the last episode would have been episode would have been the trip home and the last night, which is boring because it was just a lot of road footage and we were just trying to get home back to Canada and the last night my daughter Poppy got croup so we were in the Georgia emergency room she's fine now we're almost on the last day of antibiotics um, and she was on a steroid too so she's recovered we got it we were really lucky because we caught it quickly and she got a little bit of rest because she was kind of trapped in a car seat for the last part of the trip and the first part of her sickness so thankfully she's doing well um, yeah and so this is the the last of it so let me get into what I got. Um, my favorite thing to go down in the States for, um, which I can always rely on being amazing, is Target. Um, we used to have Target in Canada, I mentioned this in my vlog, but it just kind of crashed and burned and died for some reason and every time I go I'm so sad and I know a lot of people in Canada who are so sad and miss Target so I got a bunch of things. Um, we are actually only, um, I'm in the Burlington Hamilton area um, in southern Ontario so we're actually only 45 minutes away from the Buffalo New York Target and I saw the lot of, like we were there the other day and I saw a lot of these things there so if you wanted to make a overnight day trip like you have to be careful about the duty like what you can bring back but um yeah like you can catch some of these things down there um, which are really close um, and we my husband and I also plan to do like a Buffalo date like overnight trip and uh, I think that'd be lots of fun to do and if I do that, I'll involve like, I'll do like a big blog post about what we did um, and where I shop because I think that's a lot of fun to be able to visit Buffalo. We're really close to Niagara Falls and uh, Toronto, but you don't see a lot of people going to Buffalo <laughs> um, as like a fun day trip. So stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I will start with what I got at Target. One of the favorite things I got, and I saw this and just immediately fell in love with it because I, I love my florals, as you can see. Um, is this beautiful weekender bag. It's made of nylon and um, some, I think some sort of polyurethane on the handles. And it is just absolutely beautiful. This also comes in a stripe. Um, it is $34.99 American that comes to roughly $46 Canadian. So it's absolutely massive. Um, I was looking for a beach bag that was big, but now I think this is too nice <laughs> to use as a beach bag. And it has like a big long strap that you can wear over your shoulder. And on the back is a zipper. And a pocket that is actually pretty big. Like you can put like a mini iPad in there. Actually probably a full size iPad if like we only have the first generation iPad. Um, and yeah, that definitely fits in there. Kindle, all those kind of devices are actually a good spot for it. And then inside is black. And there's one zipper pocket here and then two patch pockets here, like more for just quick, easy access things like your phone, etc. So absolutely love this. I think it's so cute and so pretty. And every time I look at it, I'm like so glad I bought this because it is so pretty. The next thing I got was this uh, bathing suit. So I'm going to um, go to a family vacation with my um, in-laws, my husband's family. And I got a bathing suit that was just a little bit more comfortable for chasing around the kids. And um, I saw this color and I thought it was very beautiful. It's kind of mom because, ha because it has like the ruching on the side. You know, the classic um, flattering design. Um, but yeah, I love the color. I think it's kind of mermaid-esque. So I'm actually going to do a post on how to rock a mom bathing suit and I think using the right accessories you can just kind of make it a style or a theme and I think that makes it really fun. So this is going to be my mermaid mermaid outfit. Um, it comes to about $46 Canadian and it has like the built-in um, bra, 
that's like very soft cups and then it has this removable halter strap so be on the lookout for my post on that it's super cute super pretty um, and I'm actually really excited to wear it the other thing I have is a pajama set and I have a pair of these from the Gap that has it's gray with little flamingos on it but I saw that Target had them and they are like half the price or I think this comes to around $26 US so it's the top is buttons and like they're functional buttons and they're a jersey a model and a spandex material and so I have these in black and I got them in peach too and they're just super soft very classic very basic pajamas that I don't like spending money on pajamas because when I was growing up my mom always made ours so it's very hard for me to see the value in it because I'm like I'm just going to bed and like un until now I wore like my husband's boxers and his t-shirts and he was so surprised to see that I look like a <laughs> I look like a nice like decent looking human being in bed too <laughs> uh, anyway my husband really likes these and they're super soft and just so nice to sleep in and I'm going to get them and they come in a gray as well. So this is the black. This is um, this is the peach color and then this is what the top looks like. It's called a peach online but I think it's a little bit more pink than peach. So those are those. And last, this is a funny one. Um, I was looking for a laundry basket that we could take traveling. I think if you travel with children or if you're just away for a long time, you need something that beyond like a shopping bag to carry like to carry all your stuff in, regardless of whether you're going to do laundry there or not. Um, this is a fold out laundry basket. It comes in a green and a pink and it was seven dollars USD and it is so roughly about eight bucks Canadian. And so you open it up and there's this little guy here that flattens out to straighten it out and it's just like super handy you can pack it away anywhere I'm just, yeah we used it on our trip down there because we got it at the Target on the way there and that we're gonna go to another cottage with Wes's my husband's family and I'm gonna use it there too because there's actually no laundry there so I need something big that will carry all of our things all of our laundry okay so next up I'm going to talk about mom my boutique shopping oh actually no you know what i have who what wear um for target so who what wear.com is this amazing site if you're into fashion and trends and you just want to know what everyone's wearing right now and they do a lot of celebrity stuff um and they do a lot of french girl stuff and you can sign up for their emails and you get so much so much email from them which i love um and yeah i just like it helps me keep on on track with like what's happening fashion wise and they did a line with target and their sizes are amazing because they start like small size and then they go up to like 4x I think so they do plus sizes as well and it's super stylish super cute I just went to Buffalo the other day and, and these are all there too um, and I'm super excited about it so let me show you my first piece it is this really cute um, almost like a sweater shirt but it's it's almost sheer so it's like it's beachy so it's appropriate for this weather so it has this beautiful um, fringe at the bottom and the fringe across the top and it's also on the back which I love I don't like anything my most disappointing thing is if you have this gorgeous design on the front of a shirt like and these nice design details and they don't continue to the back so this does that um, I wear a nude bra with this because it has these holes and you can see like I'm wearing has a black I have a black hanger here so you need to wear like nude underwear with it but um, yeah it's so nice it's so comfy and it's perfect for like um, the cottage like at night or if you're sitting talking with people um, talking with your friends hanging out having some wine white wine or beer and this is just super comfy absolutely love it um, the model online it doesn't really show how cute this top is um, I'll show you what these all look like on me um, and but yeah there's no reviews for it online but I absolutely love it I'll give it five stars because I actually wore it yesterday because I couldn't wait to wear it um, yeah and I'm going to pack it for my cottage weekend. This piece I saw um, on Who What Wear when they released their newest summer line. And I was like, I have to have this. But like, um, obviously shopping online and like going through the States, like you'll get charged duty for sure. Um, and it's just not the best deal. So I'm so glad when I went down there that I found this. And it's this beautiful button down midi length dress. So I'll show you what this looks like online. But the buttons go down and they are all functional. And it's lined which is really nice and it is a cotton blend. I absolutely love it. It has adjustable straps here and it has um, elasticized smocking on the back. I think all smocking is elasticized, but 
it has this so it stays comfy and it moves when you eat something big or eat a lot of something <laughs> and it has this great little tie bow strap so love this this is classic I love buying um, I don't buy a lot of patterns but the patterns that I do buy are classic um, because if I, I want to think about if I'm gonna love it next next summer and these are blue stripes so this is super classic super happy with it and I'm gonna wear this all the time the next two what wear um, piece I have is this gorgeous black skirt so this is pockets it's cotton, 100% cotton, and it has the buttons again. I love my buttons down the front, and I think it's a very classic look. This reminds me, I think I mentioned it in another video, of Meg Ryan. She has this one outfit in um, You've Got Mail. And I just, I love her whole staff through the whole video, uh, through the whole movie. And I have, this is my second, I have an olive-colored skirt like this. I'm really excited to find it in black, because this is going to go with everything. And yeah, it has the elastic on the back, so it's stretchy. And then the mini length. So I think this is so pretty. I love it. I love that it's cotton. Even though it's black, it's like a dark, dark color for summer. But I think the cotton is going to make it wearable and breathable. So next up, I have items from boutiques that I visited. So we stayed in um, a place called Hiawassee, Georgia. And it's just this like really cute, small cottage town. And it's just on a lake. And there's this um, store called... There's a store called um, North and Main. I kept the bag because I thought it was super cute. Yogurt. And they are basically like free people, but affordable. I love free people. I love their style, but I, it's really hard for me to pay over $100 for a shirt or a tunic. It's usually tunics that they um, sell um, a lot of. Um, but yeah, I usually wait for their stuff to go on like extreme clearance, which actually if you're in Canada at the Bay, they are having some really good sales there. Um, so go check those out. Lovely pieces. But yeah, I will show you what I got from there because I just think they're just beautiful and could come straight out of free people. So this is a brand called Paper Cream and it's just an olive colored easy dress. It has crocheted shoulders. And it has a baby doll style at the top and then these ties right here and then this is a drawstring that functions so it actually does pull in a little bit to give you um, some shape and this is actually really um, maternity friendly so if you are finding yourself um, pregnant this summer um, actually a lot of my stuff is maternity friendly because that's just the right style <laughs> but um, yeah I think this is really cute this is really nice because the drawstring extends to the back so it does provide you some shape in the back um, if you look at this, this is the same thing. So if you are pregnant, then this is actually really flattering because you're not going to look like this big blimp in a big dress. You're going to look like this cute pregnant person you, that you are in something like this. And it has these ties on the side. So it's just extra flirty, really fun, and it comes to my knees. I couldn't find this on their site online, but I found a couple of comparable pieces that are also this color and also a baby doll style. So, so check that out in the description box below. Um, everything I have in the description box below are links to these items. Um, if there's other colors, I involve that too. Um, yeah, and then there's just like other social media stuff where you can find me if you'd like to follow me there. This is another piece that I think is also very free people because I have an item very similar to this or I've wanted one very similar to this. So this has a halter neckline and it has a buttons, a button at the top that I don't have done up right now. Um, and what makes it actually really wearable, what um, I have a problem with with free people is the length of things. I find they cut me very awkwardly. So it can either be a short skirt or a long shirt and I have to wear usually their stuff with jeans because it's just too short otherwise. And this is the perfect length. So this I saw online doesn't come in this color anymore but it comes in something with I think a pink background. And what makes it nice is it has a short front but a long back. So I usually wouldn't wear something this short which is just above my knees it's really not that short um but that's just my style and but this yeah like i said the back comes a little longer and not like the dramatic um mullet style that you see right now this is just kind of a very easy wearable piece with a very subtle um drop to the back what makes it very um friendly and easy to wear and the last place that we went for shopping um, was Asheville. And Asheville is in North Carolina, and it's a super cute, super trendy, fun city. Um, like, great places to eat, really artistic, lots of fun. So we absolutely recommend it. It's kid-friendly to, well, like, it's 
there's like lots of hills, so pushing your kid up this like the stroller is like a little challenging, but it's a good workout. Um, but yeah, super fun, beautiful city, great shops, and a store that we went to, a store, a store boutique that we went to is called um, Minx, and it's on Lexington Avenue, and it's absolutely beautiful. In my vlog, I show um, the window displays and everything in the window, and I would have loved to have walked away with a bunch of dresses, um, but they're around the 100 to 200 mark, so it was a little bit more much, except especially with like the exchange rate for Canadian. Um, so I had to sadly leave some stuff behind, but there were some affordable pieces that I absolutely loved, and this is one of them. This is just a really cute, easy uh, green tank. We, again, I have like the the smocking in the front and has a keyhole neckline right here and a drawstring, which um, functions. Um, yeah, and just easy, flowy, nice um, material. I absolutely love it. I love having just easy tanks that you can just throw on and not have to think about. This is a very good summer piece, and I've already worn this, I think, twice now. <laughs> so absolutely love that. And then last is, surprise, surprise, a striped shirt. I definitely have an addiction to stripes. Yes, I know. Um, but what makes this one different is the um, quality of it. This was $65 American, so it's a little high for what I usually spend on just a basic. But because I love striped shirts so much and wear them so much, I decided to spend a little bit more money for something that I know will last a little longer. Um, so yeah, this is navy. It looks black. So, um, we'll see if it fades a little bit, but, um, I would wear this just with, like, I could wear this with black pants, I think. It would work well because it's such a dark navy. And what's so nice about this one is the side button detail. Isn't that cute? So this, these actually come undone. It is not, it is like a shorter, um, length, so it's best worn with, um, high-waisted jeans. And this is actually really petite-friendly in, in that way. I couldn't find this online um or the green shirt they because it's a boutique and i don't they don't do online shopping but i have this link to this at a different store um online so you can buy this and yeah those are my purchases um i hope you enjoy everything if you like these hauls and like my vlogs you can subscribe i'll put my little button here and yeah if you like this video please give me a thumbs up I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, let, comment below with your favorite items. I'd love to talk to you guys about what I got. It's like, it's, I love doing these videos because it's like showing like a friend or your sister. Like when I brought, when I got home, I showed my sister everything. So it's, it's a lot of fun, and that's why I, I do these videos. I think it's, it's great. Um, yeah, have a great day. Mm -hmm.